Hello and welcome to my little trinket box build. I've still got some of this tabletop that I messed up the other week. So my missus birthday is coming up. So I thought perfect opportunity to get rid of some of it. I printed a nice heart shaped design out and just added her name over the top. And then cut a nice piece out of this tabletop that I messed up. And then I wanted to chamfer the edges to turn it into like a sort of a semi dome shape. And then just using a glue stick, I stuck the printed out picture onto the board. This was actually going to be the lid. Once I drilled all the holes in the shapes, I had to set the CNC up. Sorry, scroll saw. I must remember I haven't got a CNC. My original plan was to make a bandsaw box, but my bandsaw is just not powerful enough to cut through anything more than like inch and a half. You can cut straight lines, but doing shapes, it tends to seize up. I don't know if I haven't got it set up right. Uh, if anybody else has the same trouble, let me know. Who needs a fancy CNC or an X-carve anyway? I wanted to shape the body a little bit more. I wanted the edges thinner than the centre, so to keep that dome going on. And then I wanted to define the letters a bit more. I did all this with a Dremel. A neighbour had given me a nice lump of oak, which is what I wanted to make the box out of. Now I've actually lost a bit of footage here. Uh, I tried to cut it on my bandsaw and I snapped the blade, trying to force it through. So I had to nip up to my mates. If you snap my blade. Now my mate's not much of a cameraman, and I didn't have a camera stand at his house, so this is the best I can do for this bit. It's probably why he sticks to Instagram. I'll stick a link in the description. So when I got home, I got sort of three parts of a bandsaw box. So I just needed to glue them back together.
The following day, when everything had glued and set up, it was just a matter of wanting a damn good sanding. I used the power file first in the heart shape at the top and then just went onto the belt sander and then hand sanding. I'm putting all these clips of sanding in just in case my missus watches it back and she knows how much effort I've put in. Once I'd sanded it all back, I couldn't get rid of the line uh, from the bottom of the joint. You couldn't feel it, but you could see it. Then I found some really tiny hinges, which were a nightmare to put on. I had to put them on with panel pins through a piece of paper, because they were too small to hold. And I could have done with a smaller hammer, but this is the smallest one I've got. And then I cut some recesses out in the box with the Dremel. I wanted the letters to stand out, so I used a bit of stain and a kiddie's paintbrush just to colour the letters in. That turned out to be a bit of a mistake. Uh, I ended up going over it with the um, black marker pen. It looked a bit better. And then I get it a good coat of Danish oil and just massaged it in with my fingers. Just to show my missus what love, care and attention I've paid to this piece. Much better than any bought present she could have received. And don't panic, I'm still going to take her out for a meal. We haven't been to McDonald's in years. And there we go, a bit of time and effort. I've got rid of a bit more of that table and I've saved myself a few quid. I realise it would have been a lot easier to do it with a bandsaw, but mine's just not powerful enough. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.